We're at the Grady E. Harvel Civil Engineering Research and Education Center. It's a large scale structural testing facility. So we break big things in here to make buildings and bridges and structures safer. Laboratories like this simulate the kind of conditions that we would expect in a seismic event is important for advancing the building codes and, and design specifications. These two pieces, the weld broke and it shifted. And that's when you saw the thing go because we're pushing at the top and reacting at the bottom. These tests are very large. We need certain components in these buildings to perform as we expect. We were able to dissipate a certain amount of energy from the seismic event safely. We're looking at a special type of seismic connection. It's used in high seismic areas of the country. And this specific type of connection, the code currently only allows for perpendicular connections. So we're looking at a skewed connection. That's kind of cool. You see that? It's, cool. no, I it's see exactly. flaking off in these different directions. Prior to running the test, typically we coat them in a calcium hydroxide whitewash. When the steel deforms to a point where we might expect there to be damage happening, it'll flake off in specific patterns that tell us where damage is occurring. We have various gauges that are recording material strains. We also have displacement transducers that are measuring displacements all around. That's so that we can understand exactly what we're putting into the specimen. The team is composed of graduate students, myself, lots of lab technicians. The horse sense that they'll have from building a, a test like this and, and breaking it and observing what the, all the failures that they see, they're gonna be better engineers for having experiences in a facility like this.